So I had said, um, a, I don't know, a couple years ago, back when Canada's, all the truckers um, did their protest in, in, what was it, Ottawa? Is that the, I, but everybody knows about the uh, Canadian, uh, the truckers. That was amazing. That was like amazing to watch all through Canada, all, all those trucks, all those semis, um, rising up against Trudeau and the globalists. And I had said back then, I said, you know, truckers um, are the lifeblood of, of the, you know, of, of a country because they bring your food to you, right? They bring it to the supermarket. But I left somebody out, you know, that's even higher up than them. And that's, that's your farmers. Look, without farmers, we don't eat. We just don't. You, yeah, you can, you know, eat. You don't, you don't eat without farmers unless you want to have bioengineering food, which, you know, all the Kennedy and the globalists seem to want to be on board with, which is the sick globalist agenda. It's amazing to me that I've seen stuff about how um, nationalism is racist. No, globalism is. Globalism is eugenics. Globalism wants to destroy farmers, the very people that um, make sure that you have food on your table. And while all other politicians and presidents bailed banks out in their administrations and bailed the most wealthiest people out, Trump, he bailed the hard workers out. He bailed out the farmers because they, they were being decimated. So Trump knew what he was doing long before he came into the presidency. Um, now, there would be tons of people that want to make the argument, right, that, um, that he bailed out the hospitals. No, I, th I think he, he knew exactly what the hospitals would do with the CARES Act, I mean. So um, there was no way to avoid them doing their um, global, because they were going to do it anyway. Um, their whole, uh, you know, gain of function, let's play with viruses, release them, and then say, oh, well, you know, make up all these lies like the science has been doing, the very higher educated. So yeah, the CARES Act, you know, the, the, the hospitals got, you know, so much money if they put people on a vent. If, yeah, they, they, and they took advantage of that. They did. That's why every death certificate, you know, if they, if they died with COVID, even if that's, they died in a motorcycle accident, these hospitals put on the death certificates COVID because they got more money for it. Well, I know, I think that's just, it, that, it, that's just, Showing, showing that those are all the people that are criminals in the system. Yes, and that would be, there's many higher educated that are criminals. Yeah, so first of all, American people need to get past this higher educated are the experts. That's total bullshit. Um, but so people would, I know, I, I'm just saying that because I know people would get in my comment section. Oh, he gave the hospitals, he gave, yeah. But he bailed out the farmers, $28 billion, and he got it from China through tariffs. Yet, uh, making deals, doing negotiations, which is what Trump's known for. Now, the mainstream media, because they're just as complicit in the criminality with the higher educated, um, uh, would like to make it seem like Trump's the criminal. No, he's not. Everything he did was to save America. Because if we go into globalism, there is nowhere to run to. Nowhere. That's it. You're done. There is no American dream. And not that there has been for a long time. But I think Trump was trying to put that things back on that track again. For sure he was. But uh, we have a ton of globalists that have been, been highlighted as heroes like the Kennedys but that all got on board with an initiative to destroy farmers. And like Trump said in his rally, what was it, when he was in California yesterday or the day before, I can't forget. He said he wanted to make sure that farmers have their land and nobody takes it from them so they can pass it on to their children. And that's how it should be. Those, that, that is the lifeblood of America, is farmers. And I think we just, we, we get, we, with the, the advancement in technology and all the little, you know, gadgets and all of that, we forget the most basic things. And that's, yeah, truckers are important too. I'm not trying to minimize the truckers now, but I'm trying to say that ultimately it's the farmers that you need in order to keep the food on the table. 
what does eugenics want what what do um what do our nursing and medical and professional associations and universities want to destroy the farm farmers destroy their land tell them they can't use this much water tell them they can't do this they can't do that to where they can't do anything because they can't afford it they can't afford all of these um regulations that obama and, and so many other people put in to try to tank the farmers why so that they could destroy food getting to your table yep and then they can come in like globalists like to do they have to destroy everything and then they'll come in like the nursing unions want to do like the nursing professional um associations want to do and the medical professionals and tell you hey we're racist but we're going to tell you how not to be racist so you better get on board with our diversity inclusion and equity plan yeah again it makes no sense only the higher educated themselves would believe that when they come out and say that they're racist that it that they like does it make any sense at all logically that the very people that have said we want to come out and say we're sorry about our history of racism yeah the nursing association medical association psychology association all of them in medicine came out and said yeah we're public health we we want to a cdc we want to um we're admitting to our racist history and um now we want to tell everybody what to do is that who you should listen to is the very people that have all of a sudden after all these years has said our, we, we, we want to acknowledge our racist ways and they want to judge others just because they were racist <laughs> talk about yeah that education did nothing for all those nurses at the top that got on board with that stupid diver DEI diversity and it's a it, it's a damn eugenics agenda going along with the same thing that wanted to destroy the farmers so the racists are globalists because they don't want to see sovereignty they care more about the planet than they do human beings they'll sacrifice human beings at any cost because really that's what it's about it has nothing to do with climate change it's nothing there's no climate change not the way they talk about it but these are all the people that got on board with destroying this country oh, it makes me so livid it really does and destroying the heartbeat of America which is farmers yes that that is how every night people should be you know thanking farmers we get too far away and not remember just the basic small things that you know it's you have food on that table because of farmers you have food in that restaurant because of farmers and the very people that have been highlighted by the media in this country the disgusting media that has put these globalists on some um pedestal that are nothing but um nazis that's what they are they've been destroying the farmer and Trump came in and made sure he knew he knew that he had to do something about the farmers making sure because Bill Gates has been buying up all this farmland right so Trump wanted to make sure the farmers that we do have and that's a lot of them that they they're taken care of so that no globalist comes along and tries to um be able to bankrupt them or destroy their land and then Biden of course came in and destroyed things damn nursing profession all of the medical system disgusting what they're going along with and it all ties to the same thing that that people are doing to or that these globalists are doing to the farmers the same globalists pushing diversity inclusion and equity are the same people that want to destroy the American farmers and that is the lifeblood of America if you destroy America there's nothing left there's nothing left America is the last stand because they have control of all the other countries they're just trying to tank America well all of you medical associations and nursing associations I'll be damned if you're gonna win you're not gonna destroy the heart blood the, the the very blood of the farmers that put food on our table or destroy our freedoms also you we can go along with your eugenics plan of diversity equity and inclusion go check yourself